understand what this is about. It's about a $900 million corporation trying to kick the teeth out of 61 working members. People who make these buildings run, who provide all of the things that tenants want, that without whom there would be no profit. Cadillac Fairview has decided on June 14th to lock those workers out rather than bargain and worse yet it fired them all on the same day that's an absolute disgrace sisters and brothers and we are not going to stand by while as rich a corporation as Cadillac Fairview tries to pound its own agenda through 61 of our members and their families if Cadillac Fairview can do it here, you can bet your last dollar they're going to try and do it somewhere else. And we got to stop that before it gets started. It's time that we put laws in place so that corporations with too much money and too much greed can no longer take advantage of working people. No justice, no peace. Shame on Cadillac Fairview. We're putting you 61 people out on the street, and then as Bob said, we're taking the unprecedented, appalling step of firing each and every one of you. I want you to know that my 73,000 members across this province are behind you 100%. We had our annual meeting last week, and 580 of our delegates passed a motion unanimously to support you and to have me write to the chief executive officer of our pension plan that owns wholly Cadillac Fairview to tell them to put pressure on this management group to get your jobs back and to get you back to work. Always, our employer is always trying to save money by contracting out their work and getting rid of those workers who have worked for years for the city of Toronto. So we also know what you're going through in terms of basic facts, in terms of Cadillac Fairview figuring that this is the way they're going to save money. We've also been through the experience of where an employer is using the excuse of the economic recession to basically take the cost of the recession out of the workers who do the work fundamentally for the corporation. And that's exactly what Cadillac Fairview is doing. And we have to keep up the fight and continue fighting against employers that think that they can pay off everything that they want on the backs of workers and on the backs of our members. We're not going to stand for it and we absolutely stand in solidarity with everything that you're doing. Keep up the good fight, yeah. brothers and sisters. Yeah, Last November we held a major summit on good jobs for all and talked about what was happening in the economy in Toronto and Greater Toronto and across this country. It said that we as working people who built the wealth in this city need to ensure that those who control the, the levers of power find it in their hearts to say that there should be good jobs for their fellow Canadians. And instead we have in your example exactly the opposite, the kind of wealth that exists in these towers, the kind of wealth that exists both in the tenants and in Cadillac Fairview as a corporation. For them to say that they're going to look at their future without the workers who help maintain these buildings and keep them in shape for years and years is disgusting.